Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster level Risk Global Nomination player, and today we are playing live on Twitch. Well, live on Twitch, but recorded on YouTube. Uh, Africa Advanced Progressive Capitals, and as you can see, we have a ton, absolutely ton of material up here. Red is going to cap in that pocket behind us. I think our best play um, to not get card luck. We're going out of the fifth position, which isn't fantastic. White might go next to us here in Libya or Algeria. They got quite a bit of material there. Uh, I don't dare go Saudi Arabia. Now, I'd have a decent play for that bonus, but we've got red all the way behind us, and I don't want to block pathing for them. I think we go before purple, so I think Sudan is probably the play here. We're not going to be able to hold bonuses, and we do have... Uh, we actually don't have a, bl a blizzard that uh, that blocks the bottom portion of the map. So unless two people cap next to each other, that should be accessible. But all of our material is in the north. The Europe bonus at the top here, don't necessarily have a play for that because of red. We would have a play for Asia Minor or, or Middle East here. Um, and I, I could cap on this four, but I think that's a little bit easier of a late game card block than just going out here in the open on Sudan. Uh, and this borders, what, it borders red and black. They go to the starting position. I'm going to sit in the middle. We might have purple uh, capping right next to us, but, yep, purple caps right next to us. That's fine. We can, we should be able to pull a bunch of our material in here. Um, I don't know where my first take is, though. That's the, that's the question, right? I might have to commit material to Saudi Arabia to hit Yemen, or maybe, I don't know, just, I don't know this map well enough. I've played it a handful of times. I don't know if it attacks across from Persia to to Yemen here, but we'll, we will have to find that one. So, um, yeah, all of my material in the northern portion of the map, which isn't my favorite thing. I'm also a little bit worried about the white player's material here. If white fortifies their four out, we might actually have a decent play. Red places a bunch on this, so red might be going for this Central Africa plus six down here. I am inclined to think that's a really bad play. Not defending their capital at all. Um, interesting. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. So we have no material about them. We don't know where anybody's capitals are on the southern portion of that. Three players are going to be... Um, well, we're going to be out of the loop for three players here. So we've got... Um, We've got purple and red next to us, but white, black, and pink. All unknown in terms of their presence. We do get white moving off. That's really, really nice of them. So we have our attack here from Tunisia into Libya. And then I'll probably pull... I'll probably pull my Syria troops in. Uh, just to make sure that nobody gets slap happy on the fort. If we lose the two on Persia, that's unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. And then we'll have the free attack here. The three next to our cap, I don't think anybody's going to be inclined to attack that. And this way we sit in a spot where um, where we're not at risk of purple rolling us. Um, because I'll put everything on cap, I'll attack white here, and we should be good to go. Now pink... Oh, pink... Uh, no, pink has not been cap rolled. Oh, pink steps into that pocket. Please fortify out. Is pink capped right? Did purple voluntarily cap between pink and I? Because that would be crazy i can actually roll his cap right now i'm not going to do that that would also be crazy um no he did not he's just there all right i will fortify this in on the side we're not uh worried about purple anymore just as long as he doesn't hit us hopefully he goes a three on one from tunisia into or italy into tunisia no he takes a four on one he, yeah because he probably knows that he's gonna lose the eritrea uh, territory there anyway especially if black is playing like we see this black three here on ethiopia black could very well be playing for the horn of africa bonus um i'm just gonna play like i, I can because i'm late in the order and, and not pos well positioned for any bonuses i think I think we just play take a card and pass for a little while until... Oh my god, they let Red hold this! Bro, his cap's up there! Hit him! <laughs> I didn't know. And now he's just going to fortify on cap. I mean, lucky play from this guy. I got to imagine there's some caps down at the bottom here, right? Otherwise, Red's going to Red's gonna be at risk of snowballing this one pretty quickly. A bold bonus take, but I guess just benefiting from the fact that nobody had 
full view of the territories here. Um, not a bad play from them. They hit pink in front of me. Uh, please fortify that away. I don't like you sitting there. Is he going to hit my two? Hit the two up top. Don't hit my two down here. It's a six go back. Yeah, the six to protect. He protect. He don't attack. <laughs> um, all right. So the players in our game, we got the black player, Broken Stone, 77089 from Spain, is playing out of the first position. We do have white. I think this must be white's cap on Molly here. Uh, so maybe it's only black at the bottom or only pink. Well, pink, I think, is over here in, in the uh, West Africa. I don't know. Maybe nobody's at the bottom, in which case this is bonkers. Uh, positioning, especially if, like, purple had material down here, but I don't think they did. They had a bunch of stuff up top. Uh, we got the red player, Blazing Colonel 48960 from South Africa. We have the white player, Maxwell the Poet 28 from Lebanon. The pink player in the fourth position, Hall Fang, or Fong, depending on how you pr pronounce that, from, uh, the pink player is from Canada. I am C-Money, currently ranked as a Grand Master, sitting in the fifth position is Green, and I'm from the United States, if you care. And then finally, James Killer 98 from Germany is in the um, sixth position as purple. And uh, yeah, and James Killer has got a nice strong capital, same as myself. Now, I mean, there's a chance we could play for North Africa. I highly doubt it. That's a plus six that has seven territories. Somehow red is holding this plus six, and we might have pink botting out here, which if pink is capped on, like, Nigeria or something, might end up rolling over into red. Um, but pink's only getting five a turn. So where is my next take? Because uh, huh. nobody hit my open territories here. I guess off of cap? I wasn't... I didn't want to do that, but um, I guess we can consolidate here. Got a little bit of pink over there, and then uh, I'll give... Yeah, I don't really care as much about that, too. I'll give white an attack on that side that way. We've got a little leeway to work with. This probably ends up giving purple... No, purple adds one over here. I would just... I wouldn't add. I would just try to use the troops, but maybe he's trying to loop all of this material around to get it grouped up. Uh, black is going now. Black is getting 11. 11 a turn. So black is also holding... Uh, no, black is probably holding both of these plus threes. That's dangerous. Black holding two plus threes. Uh, yeah, definitely holding two plus threes because we see that Sahara is split, North Africa is split, and we know red has Central Africa. So, yeah, black's got the, the both of these bonuses at the bottom. That's very dangerous. Um, did red get broken? Red got broken. Yeah, so Red committed all this material down here for absolutely no reason. He's now going to try to play for Europe. I'm going to get hit out of there. Understandable. Um, I'm wondering if we see this six slide over to try to leave. That would not surprise me. Slides to the left. Take it back now, y'all. Weblick, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining me some, for some risk global domination. White, what are you doing, dude? Why are you overtaking over there? And you're not going to fortify that? No, he does fortify that. All right. Welcome, brother. Good to see you. Now, if you're on Twitch right now and you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel where I upload daily risk videos, feel free to head on over there. It should be linked down below. I have to mess with the Twitch descriptions a little bit. It's still referencing a bunch of the Minecraft stuff I used to do, so I'll have to take care of that. Um, but if you... Uh, oh, so, so pink is still here. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to attack here and pull in. Er, I want to see if this attacks in, because if it does, I'll do that. We will... Oh, no, because I want to leave this open. So I'll attack up here. Does this attack? It does attack there. All right, we can pull that in on the next turn. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, all right, I'll pull this in now. And purple keeps... Purple, is he finally going to loop this around? Is he going to hit Egypt here? I don't know. Um, and then if you're watching on YouTube and you're not following the Twitch cha uh, channel, what are you doing? Go follow Go follow me on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash C underscore money plays. You can find me there. And if you're on Twitch, you can find me at YouTube.com slash at symbol C underscore money. Both of those will work. They'll get you to where you need to be. 
and black takes down. So I have no idea where pink is. I assume left side, either Ghana or Nigeria, based off of the context that I've had. We know black is at the bottom, getting 11 a turn. Black is going to be very problematic. Purple and I doing very similar plays here. Purple might be trying to play for this bonus over here. I'm not inclined to allow that. Um... But we'll take our take here. I, I imagine white probably wax my two on this next turn. I don't know that he has many takes on the left side here. So we'll keep an eye on that for sure. So, yeah, I think red has probably committed himself to the top here. Might be even going for Europe. Is white going to attack up into Europe? Is he going to hit me? He does it. He, wow, he hits up into actual material and loses two. Does he pull down here? I don't see the fortify unless the... From here, it fortifies over to the left through Spain. I'm not sure how much she's got. Uh, yeah, so black is already getting a very good leg up. And that's the issue with the Africa advanced map a little bit is between turn order and spawn. It does favor bonuses a little bit more than like Europe advanced. I feel like you can finagle bonuses or turn a game around in Europe advanced. This one's hard, especially if a player's established a very strong position. Like the bottom of the map, I, I suppose is card blockable, but it's, it's smaller map. A little bit more congested on the top part here. Um, or can be congested on the bottom part. Basically, the, there's almost like two halves, I like to think of it, is where the, the top half action, bottom half action. Obviously, you see Purple and myself sitting next to each other. Um, will be car difficult in the late game to card block either one of us just because of where we are. I've got, you know, see, I still got three attacks down here that I can take directly off of cap. Card block would have been even more difficult if Purple hadn't capped next to me, but... Uh, a loss. This is the the price you pay, and and pink is botted. So unfortunately, the pink bot is going to stack in front of me. We will take our take here, pull into capital, and and we're just going to keep we're going to keep playing that as our game for now. And purple we're probably going to commit to cap entirely. Take his take up here with his four. No, he's got material over there that he can take with. Interesting. So we'll take off our two on this next turn, assuming white doesn't hit it. Purple pulls down this way. That one doesn't make a ton of sense to me because um, you could just attack Syria. So you have an external stack where you're not ending up locking your cap. But he might end up trying to pull in here. Obviously, we're very condensed. So black trades on four instead of five. I don't... You now know that there's a bot in the game. I guess pink bot will never reach... Um, won't reach three cards before... Oh, there's a 30 bomb. I wonder if that's a cap stack. I'm not sure. There's actually an... Because Black did that, I think there's an avenue for a card block. Depending on where their... Like, if their capital's down here on Zambia, you could card block uh, Ubanga Shargi, South Sudan, and Kenya. But if their cap's on Tanzania, that, that becomes problematic. The Tanzania cap's actually pretty decent... Because if anybody wants to come into your territory, you've got a um, no, you got trouble. However, the Tanzania cap's also uh, like a four-point card block, which isn't horrible. But you'd have to you'd have to basically have your neighbors agree to that uh, that card block. Hey, Roy, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Um, for those of you wondering what Apollo is, and it. Uh, popping up on your screen in the youtube video if this hits youtube obviously uh apollo was a minecraft server that i used to run um and there's there's apparently still some fans of it for sure uh white is uh white just attacked a few times there that's interesting so pink bot attacks now see i'm offline that means the player has bought it out and our settings here we'll go through the settings real quick um we have uh, Capital Conquest on Africa Advanced, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turn Timer, Expert Level AI, uh, it is Ranked, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, Novice to Grandmaster, uh, so no rank restrictions, Alliances off, Fog, Blizzards on, Portals off, and then Automated AI Behavior, which is essentially that, that botting out that I mentioned previously. Red card skipped. Is he? Yeah, he's here. He just voluntarily card skipped. So Red seems to have some semblance of uh, skill in the game, but I don't really, I don't, I keep losing single troops there. Uh, I don't know how worth the card skip is early on in this one. I don't like that this pink bot has stacked in front of me. That's going to become a problem pretty, uh, pretty quickly for sure. 
Purple rolls a two on one. That actually ended up working out for him pretty well. Black's still getting 11 a turn. He might actually have to cut through some bot material here in a minute. It's a benefit to our capital sitting here. But we don't really want to let him have this bonus. Hopefully the bot hits off this 8 stack. And nobody's taken the pink cap yet either. I'm not sure it's worth it. Uh, like it would be worth it for the black player to take. I don't think it's worth it for me or purple to take. Red trades. So red card skipped. Oh, I, I realize my camera's still not on. <laughs> red card skipped, but didn't. But then traded in anyway. So black's trade. Black trades first. But actually, black traded on on four. Red trades on four, but that's because he just had a turn where he didn't take anything. So white, myself, and purple are the only ones. You know, we're gonna get the decent trades. Pink, uh, maybe pink will trade on three. If pink trades on three, then I get the normal 12 that I'd get in the order. Because progressive cards does go through a, a set order of four, six. We're on eight now, 10, 12, 15, and then plus five every single trade in after the 15th. And that scales, that's not individual, that scales per um, per player. White doing quite a bit of attacking. Maybe he takes the pink cap here. Or is he aggressing red? I don't know. He's, he's doing more attacking than I would have expected. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to take in the upper left here and navigate uh, right to left to see, you know, maybe somebody lets me hold this bonus. I highly doubt it. And what does pink do? I'd love it if it went into black, especially if black took this bonus. And we'll find out if black took that bonus. I don't really want to hit it now. Pink is going to take this, maybe. Stacks up in front of me. A lot of this material is stacked up in front of me. Does it have Kenya? We'll find out about that next turn, too. It does attack. I believe that's an attack off cap. So purple might end up getting that capital. Or white, even. We'll take our trade now. We get Syria. I guess we'll attack up in Syria. Let's go check on red's cap for fun. Uh, we don't want to roll purple yet. Red still only has 10 on capital. Why? That's the question, is why? Purple's gonna go take it. Purple's gonna go take Red's cap. I don't think this is a good play. I don't like Red's cap at all. They hit, see that hit to two? He's not gonna be... That was a kill on Red. That was Red's last territory was the cap? Wow. All right. And that actually now turns into a very good play. I didn't have good vision on how much of, of Red... There was, but I guess white just must have dunked into him. Maybe white tried to roll the cap earlier and then failed. So the red player is out. The accidental card skip is is maybe not the best of plays. Now white's getting seven. Is that just territory? That might just be off territory count because there's no plus twos on this map. And he doesn't have the second capital because we just saw purple take that. But he might end up taking the pink cap. So if we see pink getting seven here, then it probably has the Horn of Africa bonus, and then, um, and that's it. Like white would have taken that capital. So this means purple is up in the top of the map now. That's not great for us. But depending on how much he lost on that, that could be interesting. Yeah, white's hitting purple in as many spots as he can. I don't know if that's the best play here. Well, no trade in for us. Pink is getting five still. So pink doesn't have this bonus. Maybe black's on Kenya. I didn't think that's where his capital might have been, but if he was aggressive in the early game, I wouldn't be surprised. Or he's just holding a big stack there, but he's still got five a turn, so he definitely doesn't have this bonus. That's going to hit me over here. That's fine. If, if we have the bot bleed into, into purple's territory, that's totally okay. Um, yeah, even, and that's that's actually even better. Okay, delightful. Let's roll this. We got white up in the top. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't hate the spot I'm in. I've got a very strong capital. Purple trades now. Maybe he aggresses white, or does he just fortify his caps up? I'd probably just fortify my caps. 
So that second trade in is very useful for him. Not, yeah, he matches me down here. He probably only puts a little bit on that top capital. Hitting through white, maybe. Black's still getting 11 on four cards. But a lot stacking up in front of him. We might end up seeing some stacks come off that are quite large. Let's see, Purple doesn't want to anger me. I appreciate that. But he's definitely stronger than me because of that second trade. And he got white trades in on four. I Even if I had a trade on four, I wouldn't use it. I'm not worried about losing my capital. Um, but maybe we see Black do some... Nope, doesn't do some heavy lifting. Just Just keeps himself contained in his lower area here. Maybe so we see white take the uh, the pink cap or the purple cap up top. Yeah. Or is he just gonna take his card here and 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 sit tight? He's doing something. Twenty three. He's wrapped all the way around here. He's taking this bonus in the upper right or something. I don't I don't know what the goal is here. What are you doing, dude? I guess that was a way of getting his material out, but I don't know how he wouldn't have that passing over here. Leaves the three in front of me. Oh buddy, what's your deal? Hmm. Pink bot. Is pink back? Pink is back. What? This guy came back. He's been gone for like five or six turns. I'm surprised it, it let him back in. Probably bots out again, but I guess this, this means the bot skips a card so it doesn't get quite as strong. Yeah, I'm not going to hit through any unneeded material, especially if it means not coming into capital. I actually, I want to gain vision over here. I'm going to hit Algeria. I don't want to even have to hit this three. The, the less my cap is locked, the better for me in the long run. If I can keep an external territory, that's not a bad idea. So I'll just commit my three troops over here. Call it a day. White just has all of this, I guess. Um, but he's not going to get the last territory in that bonus, so... Purple trades in. Does he ransack a capital here? Only loses 13. I assume that was Pink's cap. He doesn't set in off of this kill. This is not a good play. If he goes for the kill on Pink, it's not a good play. I don't like this play at all. It only picks up two cards. He'll, he'll kill the bot, but... I don't know that this is worth it. Lost about 38. His next trade will be in around 50, I, I guess. I know he lost about 40. He lost 46 troops, so kind of net neutral there. But now the bot's out of the game, so it's not the worst thing. He's not going to risk losing material to the bot. I actually think this is a bad play. It's a good play for me. It helps me for sure. But I think it's a bad play for purple because now you let you know black is strong and you're gonna let him out of this 61 there and i don't even think he didn't fortify to this cap so black just gets an additional capital oh that's such a bad play from purple i really strongly dislike that play that's just not a good play yeah, he, he gifted a cap here to black. Because I don't think he left any material on that. White's getting 14. White actually has a bonus now. Up in the upper right here. Nobody hit him in the uh, in the Asia Minor bonus. Are you really going to hit me here, dude? Th choose wisely. Choose wisely, my guy.
He actually has two bonuses, doesn't he? No, that, no. No, that's, that's obnoxious. That's really annoying. You, you don't need to, you don't gain anything out of that. That's obnoxious. I, I don't take kindly to, to people randomly hitting my material. His cap is so weak. What on earth? He's not even holding anything on this. I could have killed him. Black might kill him. I didn't realize how I, I could have killed him there. Maybe pink or purple will. I've got a set. Uh, if he doesn't trade in, I think I kill him. <clears throat> oh, purple attacked uh, Gabon. His, I mean, he just placed all that on Cameroon because it all fortified in. Black trades. Uh, yeah, he might go for the kill on white here. He might end up feeding this to me. No, are they just going to pocket play? Yeah, he wants this bonus. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, White might, if White doesn't trade here and just does me a favor of opening everything up for me, I don't know how. He must have rolled Purple's cap earlier and lost a bunch. I don't get that at all. Is he a bot? Oh, he botted. Yeah, actually, I should be able to kill him then. Because it'll come off the cap. I don't want this cap though. I'm not gonna hold anything on it. I don't if it comes off. Come on, attack off. Make this easier for me. Trades are high enough where I should be able to kill it. Oh, it opened me over here. Yeah, I uh yep. Fails that. Sweet. Uh fortify back. That's less helpful. Uh let's go ten. And then I'll just get aggressive over here. I don't want to come off this too much because I want to fortify over. get rolled here I lost more than I wanted to there but none of, neither of them's on a trade so I don't think they can kill me yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna defend that capital at all I trade in now my caps not weak enough to get rolled by black here and then I can strengthen the caps on the next turn then I'm in a pretty good spot it's possible that Black comes and tries to mess me up, though. So he sees my cap here. Does he keep going? Because, like, you've been getting a ton per turn, bro. Just You're getting 20 a turn. You don't have to do this. Like, why? I don't like players like this, man. Just because you... He's going to roll it. Wow. What's the point, dude? <laughs> like, come on. What, what did that do for you? Again, I don't want this cap on the left side. I don't think that benefits me. And now I just trade, right? So, like, the play he just made doesn't make any sense to me. Algeria, Libya. Uh, I think I want Libya. Because now I take this back and I just focus on, on both these caps. Uh, especially because he came off this. He didn't fortify anything down there. So... And again, neither of them's on a trade still. Don't I'm not even defending the cap on the left side here. 
I, I kind of hope purple finds it and takes it. Yeah, you can have it, dude. Go for it. Because then, then he's got a split between it, right? If he's, if he's splitting between... Perfect. If he's splitting between a cap, he's less effective at killing me. And then black will see this. And black might... Black might be like, oh, he just pulled something off. I'm going to go attack it. Yeah, like, is he going to whack this now? This guy's cap... He's cap break happy. No, he's coming to hit me. Why? This guy's acting like I killed his family or something. Dude, what's your deal? Why are you playing like this, man? God forbid other people have a bonus. I hate players that play like this. It's like, oh no, I have a bonus and, and you don't. Like, At least he trapped this. I get to hold this in the upper right. I hold a bonus for one turn. I mean, I'm not going to hit him back here. His 20 is already open to me. Uh, and this big, this big one here is not open. And I don't want to open it. It's actually completely locked. It's only hitting purple's cap right now. So I think I just... I just do this. I'll leave that 60 up there. If he wants to trade in and go whack it, he can. But I'm not really inclined to... Uh, to do anything there. Do I... I think I have to set on... No, I don't I don't have a set on 4. I can't set. Um, what I don't get here is, like, black could have... I don't know. I, I don't... Purple's broken him once or twice. He didn't do anything to him, so... Um... Yeah, this is the type of player to not want anybody holding a bonus except him. I don't actually think he has much material down here at all. I don't even... I don't have beef with purple... No, don't open him up. Why are you... Oh... Okay. Wait. So, Black could actually trade in and kill Purple here. How high are the trades? I don't have a trade. But if Black was smart, he's going to take this cap next to me for free. Very bad play, but, but maybe Black... I wonder if he tries to roll this. If he does, he loses. He's going to lose this, and he's going to lose the game because of it. Yep. Yeah, I kill, I kill Purple. I think I win because of that play. And he doesn't even have a Fortify up to that cap. So I kill Purple... I don't even need to set. I'll double set off of killing purple. That was a really bad play by black. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll go this way. I feel a little bad for purple. And black doesn't have a set, right? So I should just be able to... Uh, I, I think I can just card block with this trade, right? Uh... We go boom, and then we go boom. Or can I just win? I think I could probably win here. Um, just in case. Let me get tens on. Well, actually, you know what? I, I have the 60 up top. Yeah, let's just win. Is he... On this. Oh yeah, baby. We get the world dumb. Hey! First win of the day. First win of the day. It's on stream. Let's check the ranks, and then we'll do the sign-off for the YouTube video. This one went... That, that couldn't have gone any better. Shout-out to the black player for sacking his game there at the end, and also not holding anything on this... That Namibia cap is such a bad cap. For those of you, don't cap in a tiny little pocket like that. That player should have been punished so much earlier in the game. Oh boy. Master in purple. I thought purple played pretty well. I'll give him credit. Uh, we got beginners and novices all around. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button down below. And if you want to catch me on Twitch, go follow me on Twitch over there as well. Should be uh, a link in the description down there as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And you don't want to miss them. 
uh, and comment down below what you thought about this one. If you want to catch a video just like this one right here above my head, subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.